Welcome to JWL Sports, where we review all the best sports clips from around the country. Now, you're probably wondering, why should I watch over here instead of over there? Because over there, they don't care about what you have to say. They say this all the time. They talk down to us. They don't read any of the comments. They think we're just a bunch of clowns on YouTube, Twitter. But I think it's the opposite. I think we know exactly what we're talking about. So I read every single comment. So if you think what I'm saying is the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, let me know in the comments below. If you think what I'm saying is the most amazing thing, then definitely please let me know. Either way, let's get into some discussions, let's get into some fights, but ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and it's turning into something truly, truly special. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really, really excited to be part of. So without further ado, let's get to it. Um, we're watching a clip of First Things First, um, talking about Josh Allen and the Bills, of course, and Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, Nick is going to just boast. We know that. Then he's going to say, look how right I am. Look how right I am. Um, and the truth is, is he was wrong. He was very fortunate that the Bills um, didn't win that game. And that was hardly this great game by this elite Kansas City Chiefs team. Um, and this was certainly not Josh Allen's fault, but we're going to save that for an, another clip. So uh, before I just go rant about this, let's just see what he has to say. Um, I'm definitely curious to see kind of how he um, how he saw this game. My guess is through a pretty big delusional eyes. Goes to Buffalo and sends the Bills home 215 yards and two touchdowns to Travis Kelsey, who was wearing a shirt. He's headed back to the AFC Championship. Here's Mahomes after the game. That was fun. Um, I love Arrowhead, but uh, it, it's always fun when you get to come together as a team and really just be like y'all versus, versus everybody and, and get the win. So uh, it's always great to be in great environments and uh, find a way to get a win. Okay, the official question that we decided on in the meeting is, Nick, any doubts? A doubt? <laughs> was there ever a doubt? Was there ever a doubt, bro? <laughs> Was it the Chiefs versus the Bills in January? Then no, of course there was never a doubt. The only reason anyone mm -hmm. would have had doubt about this Chiefs team was because of their allegedly not scary offense. But you know who seemed pretty damn scared by it? Their opponent yesterday. <laughs> that from the first play of the game was pressing. First play of the game, they fumbled the ball. I'm going to have to say this so many times in all these other future videos. The Bills defense was decimated. That's why the Chiefs offense looked reasonable. The Chiefs the the Chiefs offense is not elite. They're not scary. They didn't just saw, suddenly put everything together. The Bills defense is decimated. That's why that game went the way it did okay because if the chiefs were so scary and the bills were such not that good and trash as nick says then why didn't they blow them out why didn't they win so much more convincingly why did it why did the chiefs need multiple dropped passes by the bills and a missed field goal in order for the chiefs to win why did they need all those things to happen in order for the Chiefs to win if the Chiefs were clearly this superior, better team? Make that make sense for me because I cannot. Oh, Got to get those extra yards. Can't let Mahomes beat us. Third play of the game. I'm 10 yards past the line of scrimmage. I'm so panicked. I'm going to throw it forward. The refs are going to let it go because we know we're going to need every yard. Two hours into the game, you're down three in the fourth quarter. Fake punt. Play with the ball at the end. Trying to take the lead. More worried about Mahomes getting the ball than you actually getting the lead. And so, no, of course, there were nine it's yards. It's because they knew their defense the cannot do it. It's not about Mahomes. It's about their defense. The entire Mahomes era. Only faced five third downs. The punter for the second straight playoff game didn't even really need to activate him. Eight plays of 20 plus yards. Eight. Zero compared to the Buffalo Bills high-flying, terrifying, oh my God, unicorn-led offense. So how'd they do it? Why was there never a doubt? Because this Chiefs team, while everyone's going all in, while everyone's acting like this, the whole NFL universe is going to end in a year, took a long view and said, you know what? We can afford to trade away 
the single best non-quarterback in football because i love how nick wright keeps saying we in this he genuinely believes he's part of this team he actually feels like he i mean you can tell that he's actually genuinely worked up right now and it's like it's it, like he's not just doing this for show. I really don't believe so. I really don't. I know there's a lot of, you know, leaning into emotions and stuff like that and acting. And, and you know, that, of course, happens. But he actually you could tell he's like kind of shaking a little bit. You know, he couldn't wait for this. Um, and it's just like it, it, he, he's acting like the like like that the Chiefs did to the Bills, what the Ravens did to the Texans. That was a convincing win. That was, we are elite, you are not. <laughs> Excuse me. Sneezed on the truth. Um, that's what he's acting like. The The Chiefs just squirted on by, by three points, okay, against a defense that was decimated. And the Bills, I'm going to have to keep saying this in this video a million times, and the Bills had to drop multiple passes. He the Bills lost this game more than the Chiefs won this game. The Bills lost this game not only because of a missed field goal, multiple pass uh, drop passes, but also the unfortunate reality that their defense is, say it with me, decimated. That is the reality. And if you can't acknowledge that and see that, then I'm sorry. You're delusional. You're not actually watching the game for what it is. These are not excuses. These are reasons. Excuses are cheap reasons are real okay the chiefs are a good team i'm not telling you that the chiefs are trash or that the chiefs don't deserve to win or that the chiefs can't win but you have to look at why teams are winning versus losing okay there, there, there's always a reason why someone is winning versus losing sometimes it is just the luck of the draw the way the ball bounces sometimes the refs are influencing it a little bit, right? A terrible missed call or a terrible call that was not what it should have been, right? Sometimes that is a legitimate reason why. Sometimes a team is just playing worse than the other team. Sometimes the other team is playing better than the other team, which is not the same thing as another team playing worse. There are differences. There are nuances to that. And sometimes injuries play a factor and other times they just, you know, drop, literally drop the ball. And that is what happened to the Bills. Um, so again... If you're a Chiefs fan, I don't know how you feel just confident about this game. Why you feel good about this game. Yes, if you're a Chiefs fan, by all means, get excited. Six straight AFC title games. I get it. That's great. I lived that with the with the Eagles before. I get it. Enjoy it. Love it. Be proud about it. But this idea that you feel so confident that not only are you going to win in the AFC championship game, let alone the Super Bowl that you're being delusional it's not to say that you can't do it it's not to say that the chiefs can't do it but to have the confidence the never a doubt is absurd it's just it's just it's just doesn't make there's no actual justification for it there's just none because we have the single best quarterback in football of this or any era mm -hmm. so we can build who only had to throw 23 times i mean Guys, Patrick Mahomes only threw for 215 yards. He barely had to do much. He played great. I'm not, to, I'm not to say that he didn't play great, but he was throwing to a decimated defense to wide open receivers. Compare that to Josh Allen, who had to throw the ball 39 times, okay? 39 time, more times. And had to rush for all the yards that he did. I forget what the final box score was that was. But he led the team in rushing and obviously passing, considering he's the quarterback. I mean, like, it's unbelievable what Josh Allen had to do relative to what Patrick Mahomes. So when Nick threw shade and saying, oh, the unicorn, he was making fun of Josh Allen. Dude, I'm not going to curse on these videos, but you, you, okay? Like, you are such a low life. Trying to tear down Josh Allen in that moment to try to build up Patrick Mahomes is such a low life, pathetic moment. It really is. You can compliment Patrick Mahomes all you want and praise Patrick Mahomes, but to do it in the same breath of trying to pull down Josh Allen when he bawled out yesterday, when he put that team on his back and did everything he possibly could to lead the Bills, the Bills failed Josh Allen. Okay. Josh Allen didn't fail the Bills. There's a massive difference through the draft so we can get younger on defense. And how has that defense looked over the last two months of the season? Well, I can show you, which is they shut everyone down in the second half. Okay, so then what? How 
Okay, let's look at this. Uh, the Patriots, awful team. Raiders, awful team. Bengals, awful team, backup quarterback. Chargers, awful team, backup quarterback. The Dolphins, we've already established that they were never that good in the first place. They were never that good. They only beat teams with losing records. They only beat non-playoff teams except for the Cowboys. And the Cowboys were never that good. And that was more about the Cowboys losing that game. So get out of here. This is more delu- This is more cooking the books and delusional stats, okay? Like, you're just making zero sense with regards to this. Zero sense. How are you going to score points? Well, do you have the most prolific postseason combination in league history, Kelsey and Mahomes? Well, now literally you do. And how's Travis doing? Because next week against the Ravens, he's going to break Jerry Rice's receptions record. In a, in a, next season, he'll break his touchdowns record. The yards are going to be hard to come by. But that's who they have. And then, of course, you have Patrick Mahomes, who is the best player in the league, Brew, in the regular season. And then in the playoffs, against the best competition, against the best defenses, with the highest stakes, he raises his level to, I'll just be a league MVP in the postseason. And that's here's what I mean. On the left is Patrick Mahomes' playoff resume. That's pretty good. On the right are the last dozen league MVPs at quarterback aside from Mahomes. And what you'll see is he's better than league MVPs. And so was there, was there ever a reason for a doubt, Brew? The answer is no. And it's because, and drop the banner, Dusty, the Chiefs' down really year is better than your best year. Ah! The, the bad Chiefs' disappointing what's wrong with them season is better than the best season you're going to get rough to get for 90% through. I'll be of franchises. Here. Buffalo, of course, firmly in that 90%. So, no, there was never a doubt, Chris Broussard. No. Is bad. that it? It's five minutes. I'm I think waiting got for like to somebody no. to come up behind no. me. No, some more no it's banners. just round two, man. We, it's just, right. we got a crescendo. Look, yeah. I, I got to give the Chiefs props. You know I believe in Mahomes. It was a great game. Overall. Time. What? Time. What? I'm What's about this? to get to some stuff. What? I know you did the, like, I know, you know, I believe in Mahomes. What? You picked the Bills. You said yes. Bills, Bills, Bills. and we Bills, picked. Bills, Bills. Yeah. I was wrong. Okay. okay. There, I wanted there, to get there, that out. I wanted Drew, to get I that. wasn't going to make you do that because you were right on set. But that's so annoying that they keep always making Bruce say he was wrong. Nick Wright said that the, that the, that the Ravens were going to lose by like 10 plus points. He said that C.J. Stroud was going to outplay Lamar Jackson. And he could not be more wrong. He could not be more wrong about that. He was certainly more wrong about that game than he was right about the Bills-Chiefs game. He said that the Chiefs were going to win that game. The Bills lost that game. I'm with you, pal. (laughs) Pacheco played great. Yep. Kelsey... Best game all year. True. Just in time. Uh, MVS. Oh. I was oh. shocked. I got to be honest. Throwing I was your a little guys surprised. under the bus can be helpful. I was huh? a little surprised yeah. that MVS caught those passes. Here's the phrase, Nick, that comes to my mind when I saw that game mm-hmm. or thinking about that game. No room for error. No room for error. I thought Buffalo played well. I thought Buffalo played mm-hmm. well. But they made a few errors. No room for error for the Bills, you're saying? Yeah, when you, no, to beat the Chiefs. Got it, okay. agreed. To beat Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, Kelsey, and the Chiefs, no room for error. I buy that. That's None. Right. And the, like I said, the Bills played well. They ran for 180-something yards. Yeah. You know, Josh Allen didn't throw Yeah, had like times, half of my that. my goodness, two touchdowns running. Dime to uh, Shakir. Uh, I mean, great play. So I thought the Bills played a very good game, but they made a few either errors or missed opportunities. And here's here's some of them are. Yeah. The, to beat the Chiefs, I know this is a tough catch. He's got to catch it though. Chiefs, you got to make it. Mm-hmm. That's right. You got to make it, and that's that's Trent Shearfield. If he makes that catch early in the fourth quarter, who knows what happens. But then there's what Stephon Diggs. Now, Stephon Diggs talks a lot, and he is a great player, 
I mean, Dobbins Diggs has to catch this ball. This is the most, un that's one of the most unbelievable throws you can make. Right there in his you hands. You're one of the best receivers in the league and hits you there. I can't imagine when, having to deal with drops. When you look back Got at some of the great franchises, Super Bowl memories, playoff memories, great plays like that get made. And Buffalo didn't make it. And then, of course, you have Allen throwing to Shakir in the end zone. Now, Stephon Diggs is open underneath. Yeah. Could have got it to him. Ate up more clock, moved down the field. I don't hate him going for that, but he just missed the throw. He missed the throw. And my point is, you cannot do that against a no. team that is very good and yeah. has the heart of a But team. you know what the Chiefs can do? Fumble the ball at the one-yard line and win anyway. Because yeah. they're the Chiefs. Well, they're, 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 they're the Chiefs. Proud of that. that was a that, silly no, play. Uh, no, that's – yes. They made a dumb play there. Yeah. They once again at the very beginning of the game didn't capitalize in the red zone. They – they they, app, they they allowed a third and 17 on the opening drive of the game. Now, again, it, a lot of teams could convert those if you're allowed to throw a forward pass, eight yards past line of scrimmage, but they got away with it. All those things, there were four fumbles in this game. Kansas City recovered one of them, which was their own. The other three yeah. were recovered by Buffalo. All those things went in the Bills' favor, mm -hmm. and being we like, oh, yeah, but Buffalo missed the kick. The only thing the Bills missing that kick did was prevent your heart being ripped out in a different way. Because Patrick Mahomes we in that think, game, I, under that circumstances, minute 42 timeouts, oh yeah. if you think he's not driving the field and getting or points, field you're out of your mind. I buy that. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Play? No, no, we got more stuff yeah, to go. I'm, Let's, I'm right, just good. waiting. Let's just, we got more to do. <laughs> All right, Mahomes. I mean, again, the game... Void of any opinions. The game was fun. It was exciting. It was stressful, no matter who you're rooting for. Um, so it was definitely like fun, iconic playoff football. Um, but, you know, the way I look at this game, though, too, is largely through the eyes of Josh Allen. And I feel kind of bad. I try not to feel bad for um, elite professional athletes who get to live this amazing life and get paid hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, but it just is a shame because his team keeps failing him. Um, and we're going to talk about that in this next video where it's, you know, I saw, I didn't see the clip, but I saw the thumbnail where it said, you know, is Josh Allen to blame for this loss? And I can't wait to see what Nick says. So I'm going to do that video right after this one. Um, but you know, I just, I, I really, to sum up this video, this clip right here is that the chiefs didn't win that game. The bills lost that game. And this idea that Patrick Mahomes just played unbelievable and, you know, had no mistakes then, but Josh Allen did, is just nonsense. Patrick Mahomes missed a wide open Travis Kelsey in the end zone to the point that Romo was shocked. Romo was like, I, I don't even know what I just saw. You know, he was like literally like kind of like struggling to get the words out because he was just like, how did Mahomes miss that? And you have Josh Allen throwing like two or three amazing unbelievable like 60 plus yard passes that were like oh my god and the bills couldn't step up they couldn't do it they couldn't catch the ball um and so you know it's just it's just outrageous i mean it really really is and so you can't you can't blame josh out on that one which i said we'll talk more about that in the next video um but i'd love to hear your thoughts on this one what did you think of the game did you think it was fun do you think it was exciting do you think there was never a doubt that the chiefs were going to win would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. As I said, we are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. And please uh, give this video a thumbs up as it really helps with the visibility and the algorithm, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, and see you next time.